Hey, how are you? Welcome back to Donnie Explains. Today we'll be talking about China's social credit system. Now, most people think it's this black mirror, big brother-esque system where all Chinese citizens are given a score based on their behavior and then granted or denied certain privileges based on that score. Do I qualify for that? No, no you don't. We'd need you around a four or five. Now that is essentially what it is, but it is not in place nationwide yet by any means. Although the Chinese government does want to have all of its citizens rated, rewarded, or punished by 2020. Right now, it mainly just exists in the form of a bunch of different pilot and test programs around the country. For example, in the city of Rongcheng, every citizen is given a score based on how well they obey the city's laws. So if you're running a red light or you default on a loan, you aren't paying your bills on time, your score will take a hit. And if it drops below a thousand, you're fucked. I mean, you get banned from high-speed trains and planes, and from someone who has taken a Chinese bus before, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Your internet can be slowed down. It will be harder for your kids to get into a good school, which is kind of fucked up because the kids didn't really do anything. And it can be harder to get things like a hotel or a job. If your score is very high, you get privileges like you can skip the line at the hospital, you can get interest-free loans, you don't have to pay a deposit when renting a car, things like that. Now, if your score is down in the dumps and you wanna raise it, you can do things like donate to charity or do volunteer work to give it a boost. So Chess is kissing ass, trying to scrape himself back. Another way they've slowly been instating this social credit system is that Alibaba, which is like the Amazon of China, they partnered with a company called Sesame Credit to give all of their 500 million users a score. And that score is based on a bunch of personal data, including your consumer habits. So if you're buying a bunch of booze and video games, your score could take a hit. But if you are buying baby food and clothes, it shows you're a good parent and your score will be looking all right. Personally, I think that's pretty messed up. If they were looking at my consumer habits and saw that I spent 70 bucks on six margaritas and four pinky gins at the Taco Bell Cantina, my score is gonna be in the shitter. Six asais, a margarita, and fuck it, let's do a big with a pinky gin. Something similar to the social credit system, which is already in place nationwide, is called the blacklist. So if you owe the government money, or you've been accused of unfair business practices, you can be put on the blacklist. China has already banned 5 million people from high-speed trains for being on the blacklist, and 17 million people from flights. The scariest thing about all this is the way that the government has been publicly shaming people with low scores or people that are on the blacklist. Uh, they partnered with the app TikTok in the city of Nanning. I'm sure you've heard of TikTok, all those weird videos of rednecks. I love you, boy. I love you, too. It's you and I. Baby, it's me and you. Well, that was started in China. They do something on the app where in between the videos you see, they'll have photos pop up of people with low scores or people on the blacklist. It's kind of just like a public digital mugshot put out there on the web for everyone to see. Sesame Credit also partnered with a dating app called Beihe, where not only do you see what potential partners look like, you see their score. I mean, that is just exactly what happened in Black Mirror. You want a cookie with that? It's on the house. Sounds awesome. <laughs> and WeChat has a map function where you can see which of your neighbors are on the blacklist or have low scores or are in debt. I don't really need to know that about my neighbors. As long as they're not a sex offender, like I'm cool. China has also been using facial recognition technology to publicly shame people. And the tech they have out there is advanced and widespread. There's even a KFC where you can just pay with your face. You just walk up, they scan your face, your card gets charged, you get a chicken sandwich. China has cameras all over the place with this technology. So say if you litter or jaywalk, your face will get scanned, they'll know who you are, your score will take a hit, and they'll also post a photo of you on a digital billboard on the street so everybody else in the area knows that you've been jaywalking. They have one of these boards right outside my house in Shanghai. I have probably been on it numerous times, but I don't really give a shit. Why don't I give a shit? Because social credit scores will never be applied to foreigners. This is only for citizens. I mean, if I'm being too much of an asshole, they can just kick me out of the country. 
I'm kind of surprised they haven't done that yet. Hey, ref, you got black whistles coming out your ass, dude. So what do Chinese people think of this? Well, I've read a few accounts, probably from people who have very high scores, that they don't really have a problem with it. I know historically China has had problems with scams. There was even one company that tried selling people plastic rice. So they think it's good to have some sort of measure of trustworthiness around the country. I mean, maybe Chinese drivers will finally stop at crosswalks if they know that their face is gonna get scanned and their score will take a hit. So I guess that's a plus. But other people with low scores who have been forced to take 16 hour bus rides around the country probably aren't singing its praises. In conclusion, China hasn't gone full black mirror on us yet, but things could get scary over there in the next few years. Thankfully, it's not really my problem, and hopefully the USA never tries to copy them, but who knows what's gonna happen. Signing off, Donnie Explains.